Which brings us to Robert's question. He says, I enjoy goblet squatting, but I'm looking to move into double kettlebell movements. I want to progress to doing the ABC armor building complex workouts to improve my strength and power for rugby. I have found front squats tricky to maintain my form. Uh, I can't reach depth with good form, whereas like goblet squats look a lot better. Okay, that's really common. So I was wondering if you had any other drills or exercises that you could use to bridge the gap between goblet squatting and front squatting. Now, I'm guessing front squats with two kettlebells, what we call the double kettlebell front squat. I'm guessing that if you're talking about the barbell one, I'm saying it's fairly clear to me, but I always worry about, I hope I'm correct, I'm helping with what you want. I was thinking of starting uh, uh, by using a single kettlebell front squat or box squats. I don't think so. Not with kettlebells, with double kettlebells, but I'm interested to know if you have any ideas. And then we have a, a, a different uh, question comes up. Um, I just don't know why you're having a problem with double kettlebell front squats. Uh, this is the, like, this would be one of those times I'd like to see a video uh, to see what's going on because uh, a couple things. First, you know, is your clean appropriate? Uh, do you have your thumbs on, on your chest? I'm a big believer that when you do double kettlebell front squats, you want your thumbs and your, you know, this, the back of your hands are pointing forward. You really squeeze your elbows into your sides. You pack your shoulders in, down, and deep. And then when you feel, and then you want to feel this part of your arm sliding on the inside of your knee, or uh, quads as you drop down, uh, it's easier to do than to explain. So I'm just wondering why that's an issue Doubles by themselves uh, are one of the best exercises I think uh, collision sport and collision occupation people can do because it does teach that what we call that anaconda strength, that, uh, that tension, that internal inner tube tension very well. You know, it's an interesting question. You know, Robert, I'm concerned why there's an issue there, especially if you're a rugby player. Um, single side uh, front squats have their place. Uh, I put them usually after uh, someone masters the double. And really, all I just use it for is kind of an assessment. I look to see if the chin, the sternum, and the zipper are in a straight line when you do single side. And if it's not, then we try to figure out, <laughs> kind of reverse engineer, are you injured? Are you immobile? Are you broken? Uh, is there a, an old injury that still has you kind of protecting it? Uh, or is it just, you know, one side is clearly stronger than the other? And I'm sure there's other things I've never even thought about that'll cause uh, a person to be perfect on one side and then just be all over the place on the other. Uh, it seems like we have a second question here, okay? Um, on the minimum strength standards, I was referring to starting double kettlebell movements. At what point do you believe there is value in introducing a second kettlebell over just practicing the movements more than with with more more movements with the one? Perhaps my issue is that I'm starting double kettlebell movements too early. Not if you're a rugby player. Um, yeah. The, okay. For me, and just to finish up, uh, and this this is an issue that shows up for me. When you have a single kettlebell, you do the two-handed swing the goblet squat, the Turkish getup, the whole press family, and the snatch. When you have double kettlebells, you do the ABC. You do double clean, double front squat, double press. Uh, with doubles, I don't really, th someone's gonna say, well, what about double deadlifts? I mean, come on. I mean, even with double beasts, uh, that's the the 48 Ks, you know, we're looking at 212 pounds. I just, the barbell is a much better tool um, you know, um, you know, there, there are some programs you do like sets of 20. And um, by the way, if you ever decide to do three sets of 20 with double kettlebell deadlifts, it is much harder than just saying three sets of 20 with double kettlebell deadlifts. It's, I was surprised how much it, it baked me. Um, but yeah, so for me, when it's time to add load, you certainly, I mean, like in the press, with the press doing heavy singles versus heavy doubles, you know, I mean, there's going to be listeners who are like, man, the double, I'm so much better at it. And there'll be listeners be like, oh, no, the single. So the press is the press. 
when it comes to the to the the squat family, I mean the goblet squat is probably one of the best things you can do for almost anybody. And the double is more load with more that of that pulling down tension, which is great. Uh, the double clean is one of the things that my American football players said. This is how I feel after the game. And that's why it became the armor building complex. Double clean, two reps, double press, one rep, double front squat, three reps, rest, continue, and you know, do it as many times as you can. So, you know, I, I don't like using two kettlebells for some of the exercises that are really popular online. And I always tell people, well, if you like them, go ask questions of the people who like that exercise, not me. And the interesting thing is the people who like that exercise I don't don't often answer questions because <laughs> I they were the because the follow up question I get on emails they went well I did and they didn't respond so well I respond even when I don't agree with an exercise so I hope that helps um, I think that's something you'd want to consider uh, that armor building complex just Google it you'll uh, just just look through my uh, videos here on. Uh, YouTube, and you'll find uh, lots and lots of references uh, to it. Uh, it is a very popular workout. Uh, it's used by, oh, I, every organization that teaches kettlebells use it, uses it. And in some situations, they actually uh, give credit to the author. That, that's me. P giving credit to the, to the inventor uh, in our field is just something that doesn't happen. So, but that was a good question, and I appreciate it.